Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo Gaming Legion 5. The exact model is a 15 ACH6. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. If you have a 16 gig version you can go up to 32, if you want to have 32 you can go up to 64. We have upgraded this laptop to 64 gig with no problem. You can do that too, but the sweet spot is a 32 gig store and RAM for this one. Just remember by removing the RAM or upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the system. It's gonna be the way that you left it before. And also I get lots of questions as people are asking me, oh, can I have a 16 gig and an eight gig? Sure you can, you can have a 16 and eight gig in combination with no problem. Just remember, and when you have two sticks, it will, you will have automatically a dual channel, which is much faster than a single channel uh, RAM. Now, if you have a 16 gig and an 8 gig inside here, you will have a dual channel up to 8 gig and not up to 16 gig. So that's a disadvantage for not having an even RAM. So you not have the, all the benefit of the dual channel all the way. All right. With all that said, let's get into a power off the laptop completely. Flip it upside down. And you're gonna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using a my fixed screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, it will include you with an opening tools and stuff like that. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, down here we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws: the longest screws and the short one. The short ones, it's in the front row of the laptop, in the front of the laptop. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate pile and keep the big one in a, obviously in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps us support the channel to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in a comment area. Appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna remove all of them, almost done. There we go. So down here, first we're gonna open up from the front end. We got the batteries in the front, the motherboard is in the back. We're gonna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just wanna twist it and you wanna hear those big click sound. That's what you wanna hear. So I'm, I'm just sticking it in there about one or two millimeters and just rotating it, twisting it pretty much, I'll say. All right, once you go to the corner, in here by the ventilation in here, you wanna go all the way towards here, and then you wanna twist it. So you see these tiny clips in here? You wanna release those. There we go. Once you did this side, you wanna go to the other side. You wanna do the both sides. I have the camera right in front of me, I can see. There we go. Once you did the sides and the front, you can just grab it from here, wiggle it around, and you will release the bottom cover. All right, and the rams are right under this one, shielded protection right in here. You can, I recommend you to disconnect the battery. If you are really flimsy, you think you're gonna drop something over the board, but if not, you don't have to. Grab a plastic spatula. If you wanna disconnect the battery, you have to pull these jacks evenly back, just like this, and you will you can disconnect it. But if not, I'll say if you want to put it back together, you have to put it evenly inside the connector, evenly, and push it all the way in. To remove this shield, you want to start from one corner. You want to lift it, lift up this metal cover, up, and bring it up evenly. There's a clips in here that holds it into under. All right, so we can see that there's only one stick in here. So that means this laptop has a 32 gig already on one stick, which is not good. You should have another stick in here, 16 and 16, which will be better. So I would recommend to put another 32, so you have a 64 gig, it will run a dual channel. To remove the RAM, you wanna put your fingers at the side of this trigger and then pull them away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. Don't yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break the RAM or the DIM. You wanna slide it backward, this, like this. Slide it back on a 45 degree angle. This is a 32 gig HP brand. I have no idea why it's an HP brand, but I think it's been upgraded. 
So you can grab any brand, Samsung, Crucial, I will leave the compatible RAM in the video description so you can purchase yours. Is that DDR4-3200. Just make sure the notch on the RAM, right in here, this notch matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I try to put a dot away around in here, it will simply not go through because the notch are not matching. So you want to rotate and push it down in 45 degree angle and then towards the motherboard, just like that. To remove it, unhook and push it, pull it out. Same thing here, 45 degree angle in there and then simply push it towards the motherboard and watch these two triggers open and close and it stays straight. That's how you do it. I have another RAM here, this is an ADATA, four gigs for demonstration. You wanna bring it down in here and then towards the motherboard. And that's how you can do it. Doesn't matter if your RAM has only chips on one side, double-sided chip, doesn't matter. As long as the DDR4-3200, it will fit and it will work fine. All right. Once you upgrade the RAM, you can simply grab this power and make sure you align these clips on the corner first. And then drop it down and push. Make sure it clicks in. And there we have it. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. Then to finish it off is to grab the bottom cover, bring it back from the back side, push the front, the sides in, the back. If you have any click, any opening, just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And then put the bottom screws at the back on everywhere that you see and the short screws that go in the front row. Again, I, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own RAM upgrade for your Lenovo Gaming Legion 5 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws and I'll power on so you guys can see. There you go. So you're gonna flip it over. And you're gonna power on. If you disconnect the battery, it might take a few seconds for it to power on, but I'm gonna tap F2, F1 to go to the BIOS. I believe it's F2, but I'm just gonna tap on both, and there we have it. So I'm gonna go to Advance, and in here we can see the, the model. It's on Legion 5, 15, and the RAM is right here. System memory, 32 gigabytes. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.